This great show ain't no joke, trust me. After all, all worlds go collide here. We have Survivor Series of a smaller caliber as NXT and NXT UK, and even a little bit SmackDown go to war. When the first match, Carvalho Hayes presented his Hall of Shame, consisting of those he defeated for his NXT North American Championship, and it could just replenish if he is able to beat SmackDown star Ricochet tonight. Ricochet is more experienced and he is faster, and he used all that to his advantage. But Hayes was trickier and more calculative here. And he also had his old faithful Trick Williams who always saves him as good as he can. In the beginning they had a classic stalemate. But then numbers came into play as Ricochet delivered his recoil only for Williams to pull Hayes' leg off the cover. He at least should have been ejected after that, but he wasn't. One beautiful moment was Ricochet delivering suplex from the top rope. And of course Trick Williams decided to stick his nose again by jumping on the apron and getting drop kick from high flying ricochet only for Carmelo Hayes to counter shooting star press into inside cradle and retain afterwards. What can I say is that NXT fits ricochet and ricochet fits NXT so it would be nice for him to go and stay there just like Balor did 3 years ago, just like Apollo Crews did earlier this year. After the match we were shown how Roderick Strong lies bloody and unconscious in the parking lot. What a cruel sight and later you will find out what's going on. Pretty deadly take on mini version of Viking Raiders, that being Gallus. Then NXT UK tag team champions Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen. And one more team of Diamond Mine, who are NXT tag team champions, in a title unification elimination match. There were so many people and they were not in a pleasant mood. And also they all loved to fight. And that's why they started brawling immediately. And there wasn't a second without in-ring action. And that led to NXT UK Tag Team Champions being eliminated first after first chaos outside the ring and Brooks Jensen being dropped from the top rope and kicked in the head by Gallus inside the ring. And the second elimination was waiting for Gallus as Wolfgang received Brutus Bomb and the clothesline from Julius to take the pinfall. It led to old and bitter rivals Kritz and Pretty Ugly being left on two. But this didn't stop Briggs and Jensen and Gallus from going back from backstage to ringside to brawl and to accidentally take out referee and played a factor in the match as Damon Kemp first speared Kit Wilson with a chair in hand and hugged Julius trying to show his loyalty to Diamond Mine. But to Dane take the steel chair and smash his back from behind and deliver backbreaker to open the door pretty deadly to realize what to do and to pin Julius Creed to unify tag team titles. Pretty deadly are very charismatic so this is not a bad choice. What about Damon Kemp? Nobody was expecting him to turn heel, as he was in good relationships with both Strong and Kreese, and tensions were only between them. But on the other hand, no one even knew who this guy was, and he had been in a shadow of all other members of Diamond Mine, and change in Diamond Mine has been a long time coming, so this is breath of fresh air. Backstage, Tony D'Angelo asked Cameron Grimes to join his criminal stable, but Grimes said that he is not hungry. And in the main event, NXT champion Braun Breaker and first ever and current NXT UK champion Tyler Bate literally collide to unify these two titles, to embrace the moment and for Breaker and Bate to defend NXT's and NXT UK's legacies respectively. Usually Breaker bulldozes his opponent throughout the match right from the start. But Bate's cleverness, speed and technique gave Braun Breaker a run for his money. He even proved that he is actually the big strong boy by pulling off some powerful moves on Breaker. Speaking of Breaker, he was recovering fast and was getting up from everything to then perform some beautiful classic moves. Braun kicked out of Lariat and a finishing powerbomb and later on the third rope grabbed Bate by the throat to hit finish and power slam. But Tyler Bate found his reserves to put his leg onto the rope and Breaker dropped the straps off. And after a couple of exchanges caught Bait with supersonic spear when Bait tried a lariat. And as a result it was enough for Braun to win the match and unify the gold. What a spectacular historical unification match this was that no one is ever going to forget. Tyler Bait is 25 years old, Breaker is 24 and at this young age for 17 minutes they were able to put on a clinic. Incredible. Many wrestlers can't repeat their success even for 30 minutes and of course after the match they gave the ultimate respect to one another. What an awesome show with incredible matches and what a nice way to close the history book on NXT UK. And I'm also excited to find out what NXT Europe has in store for everyone. A well earned 9 stars. Thanks for being here my number one guys. See you later.
Oh, thank you.